We've got our combatants in the middle of the court. The ball's gonna go up. It's Marcus Lee against Michael Young. Kevin Young and the Sioux Falls Sky Force win the tap that you're watching on the NBA G League Network. That is reverse of what I'm seeing. So with eight to shoot, pulling up and jumping it is Jared Jack. And the Sky Force jump on the board first. Keenan to Guy at the top. Guy's going to drive. Guy will shift to his left, jump and hit for the seconds of this first quarter from the Sanford Pentagon. Casey Apollo down low off the feet. And the Sky Force lead it 4-2. Daquan Jeffries, free throw line jumper, it's good. Daquan Jeffries. And Apollo gets the inbounds and then a catch and shoot off the feed from Marcus Lee. Jared Jack very patiently lobs it up for Marcus Lee. He cannot convert, but he does get his own rebound. It hit the rim. Reed for three. Davon Reed buries it from the outside in the pass that was tipped on the baseline. 10 to shoot as Jared Jack is going to ask for the screen. Jack will take it all the way to the glass and he'll finish. And is not closely related, if at all, to Dell Demps. There's a three from Michael Mulder and he buries it from the top. As they weave it up top, Macon with a series of dribbles. Now it's Marcus Lee in the paint. He'll put it off the glass and score it. So Marcus Lee's got a bucket. 6.15 to go in the period. Gabe Vincent, who is a, an excellent shooter, and puts it on display there. The sack for the Stockton Kings. Marcus Lee gives off to Macon. Macon drives to the hole. He'll lay it up and in. Who is a member of the University of Santa Barbara squad during college. He'll fire another three. It's good! Another three for Vincent. Stockton Kings were here as Jared Jack goes through the lane. Akpala to Daryl Macon, he's open, he'll fire, and that one's good. They'll work it up top. Mulder back to Jack. Jack will stop the free throw line, his jumper, good there. Fakes, still could dribble, instead will post entry. That's against Daquan Jeffries, and coming over the top to block it is Marcus Lee. Lee will oppose him. Gabe Vincent will pull up from 15, it's good. And Coach Eric Glass wants timeout. I better make sure I get that right. I think that's San Diego State is the Aztecs. Man, wash my mouth out with soap on that one. Davon Reed with a jumper in the lane, rolling home. And Paulo will get it out to Flatten with four to shoot. Paulo will fire, and it's good. Boo-boo Paulo into the shot clock, under duress to make it 29-17. On the other end, getting loose underneath. Strong pace from outside, five of seven. And Daryl Macon able to drive to the hole and he's able to finger roll it. Amsler and, and how you got to how you got to in this position. I well this is my 16th season with the Miami Heat and uh, now with the Sky Force, this is my second year being more involved. We're ports doing video stuff and that was during the uh, video craze that got started in the NBA and that kind of got me my uh, opportunity with the Heat back in 2003. Well, and you look at how things, you know, even back in the days of the George Mike and immersed himself into the starting lineup, and, and he's been a needed um, element oh. for the Miami Heat this season. So. Uh, absolutely. I mean, he came here last year. Good job with him, and we just got to keep him confident and keep working, which I hope he does. And as far as the talents that he's able to bring, you know, you talk about the body, the Lopez brothers yep. as the others. Yeah. I mean, it, it, Stanford probably doesn't have the, the the most NBA players ever, but they, they have some good ones. I mean, both Lopez's have had great careers. We, we were in contact with he and his agent about, you know, when he would be ready, and he was very interested in coming back. And, you know, for the brief time we had him on the court with us last year. Balls playing to the basket on my right. It's the basket to your left if you're watching the feed on the NBA G League website. Michael Mulder drives and scores. Eric Ambler talked about the dribbling abilities of Casey Akpala, but he floats a pass down low that gets knocked away, and the Kings come the other way. Vincent's open for three, and boom, it goes. Apollo off the pick and roll, drives all the way in, puts it off the glass and scores it. Started by Pinheiro, Mulder will take it in. They'll lob it up for Lee. He's undercut, but they don't call it, and they bring it out. Jared Jack, this time Marcus Lee is finds a lane to the basket, and Jack, the finder. Jeffries off the curl, catch and shoot for three. Ah, that's the Daquan Jeffries we know. 49-38.
As the Sky Force nearly at the half century mark in this game with 4.55 remaining in the period. And JJ will settle it. 10 to shoot as JJ will loop it up to Marcus Lee and he touch passes to a Trey Morting. Mob probably look for him to not return. Kyle Guy loses the ball, tried to put it off the back of one of the Sky Force. That led to a pick six going the other way. Jarrett Jack got a piece of that one. Jarrett gives it up to Trey Morning. Elbow jumper is good as Trey Morning floats in. Jeremiah Martin is back. He is here in the building as Pinheiro drives and scores and a foul over the top, Morning. And the basket is good, plus the foul. You never know, he may be pressed into duty, depending on how things play out. Mulder drives, and he scores. That one rolled in. 2.20 to go before halftime. Daquan Jeffries looks to drive, flips it up, and good. Or Flatten, who was playing him up, straight up, has one personal, so could let it go. Apollo out to Mulder, Mulder's three, bang! Makes it a 17-point Sky Force lead, 64-47. Baseline jumper rolling home. Force have never won a game by trailing at the half. Cannon's dribble pops loose, and then pops over to Pinheiro, back to Cannon. Cannon is able to put it through. Again, the Sky Force trying to get into the century mark and beyond. Demps with the baseline jumper is good. JJ against Cannon, against Cannon, gives to Mulder. Mulder drives, that one flops. Flips, rattles, and rolls through the nylon. Then through the double team, Cannon gets to the lane, blocked by Apollo. And then on the other end, Michael Mulder's on the run. He's gonna take it all the way and he'll score. 70 to 55. From the front court. You can see on the run is Michael Mulder. Brought the dead ball turnover. Here comes Akpala, he'll drive in the lane, in traffic. Banks it off the glass, right off the square and puts it in. Kevin Young turns and faces at 20 feet, now backs in on Marcus Lee, turns and then turns back the other way and he'll put it off the square. Al Guy flips it in to Cannon. Demps takes it in the lane, over Marcus Lee. is able to use the length. Here comes Cannon. Cannon gets to the baseline. He'll turn it around and send it out to Demps, and that one is no good. Kevin Young gets position, taps it up and in. And we certainly give the best to the Stern family in the hopes and prayers and well wishes near midcourt. JJ to the left. JJ pulls up, 21-footer. How about that? Jarrett Jack. A turnover nonetheless, but one that's more damaging in the scheme of things. There's a three for Reed. That one, shooter's roll for Javon Reed. 15 point spread. That's a big one. To the other end, Sky Force steal it with Davon Reed. He'll give it up to JJ and he'll lay it up and in. As the Sky Force are leading the Kings on Information 1000 KSOO and the ESPN, the NBA G League Network. Well, we'll see how that lasts. Demps drives in, gives to Young. Young, nice drive and dish. In the nine straight string for the Sky Force. Of course, a couple of turnovers in there. Also does not bode well. Michael Mulder. Cannon over on the left, drives in. There's Young again. Thank you, Cannon to Young. So that is two free throw, two point toss. And now ball out of bounds for the Kings. It is a three, and it's good! 5.15 to go in the third as Jeffries finds the lane and is able to score it. 83-72. Macon with the crossover. Wicked. And he hits the jumper. For the lion's share of this middle portion of the game, Pinheiro springs loose, and he is able to put it off the glass with 15 to shoot. And Reed will wait for the screen. Nice defense by Pinheiro. Paulo's open for three. There it goes. Boo Boo Paulo. Five seconds left. 
Darrell with three. Darrell with two. Steps inside the line to fire at the red, and it's good. Count that basket. In this one, in that third quarter. So not as proficient from the floor. Here's a three for Flatten. It's good. Skyler Flatten opens the fourth quarter. It's Lee who picks up his fifth assist. Outside to Demps. Demps for three. And the answer from the other direction. And there's Marcus Lee with the board. Marcus Lee with as many rebounds as he does assists in this one. Jack Skyler Flatten is open again. Cannot duplicate, but the Sky Force get the offensive board. Maka Mulder says, here it is. 102 to 83, timeout on the court. Jack to Mulder up top, seven to shoot. Macon thought three, instead Mulder is three from downtown and gets it. Nine minutes remaining in the period as Young gives it off to Guy outside. Jeffries who had to reel in a wide pass and it's stolen away by Jack. Up ahead, Skyler Flatten, take it to the rim and throw it down, young man. Tries to float it up, that one got tipped. Here comes Pinheiro the other direction. He'll drive on Jack, put it off the window and score. Good body control by Pinheiro. Long pass down to the baseline. Marcus Lee is gonna drive on Vincent, spin around him and score. Marcus Lee with a well-rounded performance. Cannon to the rim, line driver in the lane, goes in. Around the screen from Lee. Macon will go to the left baseline. Now we'll drive in and he'll flip it up and score. Cannon looking for the cutter. Instead, we'll give it to the safety valve. And then Cannon will receive. Cannon steps back, 20 footer, swish. But the Sky Force in front by a bunch. Morning sends it back out. Mulder. Mulder's open. Three. Mulder again. Sky Force, front court, leading by 23. Sky Force, Darrell Macon is left to his own devices. Sioux Falls leading Stockton. Young alone out on the perimeter. Kyle Guy, catch, shoot, and score for Kyle Guy. KZ can stay on the floor. Might be able to crack that column into double figures. Down low, it's Young, and Young is able to get it done for Stockton. And again, this run, 8 nothing, coming a little too late. And again, the consistent offensive output for the Kings has been lacking in this one. And it's 121 to 101. On the other end, three for the Kings. So they upgraded a scoring change. So that is a three for Cannon and now a reverse dunk for Kevin Young. Will grab it and the clock resumes near midcourt. Pinheiro will drive quickly. He will grab, score, and he'll get one more. And I think that's Hokpala. Instead, they'll work it with Macon, five to shoot. And now near midcourt, ball knocked free. And the Stockton Kings will get possession. And Demps will score and he'll get one more. Mulder will take it all the way in and he will deliver the facial. So with 127 to 115 the score, Skyforce called timeout. Three points for Isaiah Cannon to lead the Stockton Kings. 19 off the bench for Vincent and Pinheiro. 18 for Young. Skyforce with 34 points from Michael Mulder, 23 from Macon, and 18 from Jared Jack.